cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman, and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... You would be better off forgetting that. That's not exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it, or you'll soon run into trouble. Legate or no legate. Come on. It was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye. And Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. What do you want from me, my daughter? Lady de Sade, emissary of the congregation. Ah! The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the noughts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my daughter. And of course, the pagan noughts would be among them. They are very secretive, and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. 
And to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a Nort suffering from the Blood Plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? Don't hesitate to have a rummage around. I'm sure... Don't hesitate. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing.
Good day, Desade. How can I help you? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminis, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Noughts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. <sighs> that bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor, because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. The Commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets, but the documents at the Harbour Master's office may teach us something new, if we can stay discreet. Maybe in life, protect me in this battle. <laughs> This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way, we'll know exactly what the Norts are hiding from us.
These buildings are the property of Norts. No one is authorized to enter. Move aside. Guards, to me! Maybe in life you me in this battle! I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. It looks like a sort of astrolab, but it seems that they are more sophisticated than the ones I know. It's fascinating. Nothing magic or impure therein. They are nothing but measuring instruments. These machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. And that, it looks like a thermometer. And this other machine, does it really predict the weather? I believe that the other instrument there is a barometer. I've heard people speak of them, but have never seen one. These instruments are incredible, and I would be hard-pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here, nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I have definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. <sighs> this Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the better of him. Now our priority is to discover what this great purification is. Have a nice day, madam.
may be enlightened. <laughs> We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness. Yes? I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Norts. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively. Considering the accusation is founded on no proof, other than the Nort's tradition of secrecy. But these suspicions have pushed the Order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminis captured several Noughts, locked them in jails rented to them by the Coin Guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These Noughts are now united with their captain. And I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. Following up on the accusations of Bishop Domitius, I wanted to verify for myself what this was all about. I went to take a look at their storerooms and saw what they contained. There were neither idols, nor objects of any ritual, nor even anything magical, and absolutely nothing that could be attributed to the origin of the Malachor. I found nothing but measuring instruments and diverse navigational machines. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminis, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack, a great purification. They were signed by you, Father, and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the Coin Guard to attack every Nort building and imprison every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? The Norts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the Norts? I want them arrested. 
him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Noughts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence. Until we meet again.
Greetings. How are you? Desarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminis. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets? They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies. We transported some lords, men, and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are, in fact, a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is, and... I understand how difficult this is to hear. And I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. Did Constantine know? I must... I must go see him. My child, I understand that this revelation is upsetting. I, I wish I had the right words to comfort you. In any case, you do not have to be ashamed of your ancestry. This island is at the very core of all our fates. Are your boots worn through? Is your hat out of stock? Come closer, good people. Liqueur and wine from the continent. Tear for the... Cousin, 
You couldn't pick a better time. I've been taken with jitters like a cat on a midday roof. What are you waiting for with such anticipation? I took your advice, you see? I've summoned one of these crows! He has been examining me for nearly an hour. I just barely escaped a purge. But I was given the mandatory bleeding. I so hate their little knives. And so then, our venerable doctor, what is the verdict? It's... the blood is black. Constantine, is this your blood? Constantine, answer me. Constantine, stay with me. Constantine, there is a chance he is an error. It might be something else. I'm going to die. No. No, Constantine. I will die, like your mother and the others on the continent. I, I'm dying. I don't want to die. I don't. Not, not, not so soon. It's so good. Cousin, I, I don't want Constantine, I am here. Pull yourself together. Out. Everyone out. It's an order. Thank you, cousin. There now. Are you better? I don't know. You won't leave me, will you? I'm going to find a cure, I promise you. Didn't you promise the same thing to your mother? You know I'll be dead before you find one. Don't say that. I will succeed. I've already some promising trails to explore. I don't know, cousin. The tidings are so awfully dire. I'm afraid. <laughs> so afraid. I doubt the reason for your visit was to console me in my tragedy. Tell me, what brings you here? It can wait. It's nothing that cannot be dealt with later. But please, please, whatever it is, it will take my mind elsewhere. I was able to get the whole story out of the Admiral in exchange for a service. As our investigation was leading us to imagine, the Congregation did once attempt to colonize the island. The Noughts discovered it some two centuries ago and brought our people here a few decades later. But the enterprise to colonize the island failed completely. There were a great many bloody battles. Few colonists survived. The princes preferred to hide their defeat and paid the Noughts to keep the secret. That they hid the fiasco from the world, I get. But that my father said nothing about it to me. That's not the most shocking part of the story. Believe me. What do you mean? The congregation continued to make expeditions to the island with the help of the Noughts. According to the Admiral, my mother was captured from here during one of them. I was born on one of their ships. What? But... That means you are not... Your fair cousin. No. All the lies that we've been fed since our tender childhood. The fable told I am the spitting image of my dead father, lost during an expedition. I... I don't know what to think, Constantine. Why did they do that to me? I don't know. It's another one of their sly and dark orchestrations. Some vile intrigue. If it is of some comfort, no matter the true story, you will always be my fair cousin. You have always been the only one to care for me. You... I'm my only friend. That's all that matters to me. Keep this discovery between us. No one needs to know. My aunt adopted you after all. Bring in the others. Let us speak of different concerns. That's enough bad news for one day. Kurt, what is... What's going on? Is there something wrong? Coin guards! The time has come. Ah! But... What is this? Ready arms. Cut. What are you doing? Aim! Stop that, soldiers! Lower your weapons, now! Sorry, Greenblood.
fight with honor. On guard. I said draw! us our commander figured out that we could easily take control of this island you rely so heavily on our protection you are so dependent <laughs> so naive all the governors will suffer the same attacks if they haven't already your problems are far from over green blood the commander is there on the docks with all his lieutenants I failed but they will certainly succeed. Here, or elsewhere on the island. Not every governor has a cousin that I train personally for combat. Thank you. You saved us all. The nerve of them. What else was there to expect from employing coin-fed mercenaries? All that liberty, so close to power, went to their heads. It would have happened sooner or later. They could have been preparing this sort of coup for years. Without wanting to rush you, Bantering about the dangers of according one's trust to a sellsword is appropriate, but... You were right. It's time for action. We need to get you somewhere safe, Constantine. Those are my advisors that you must protect. Me? I want to... To join in? Look at your condition. It's out of the question. We are taking you somewhere safe. As you've left me no choice. There is a hiding place in the cellar. We will take care of your advisors after that. And we should make these conga eels pay for their treachery. And attempt to stop the coups in other cities. Then we have no time to lose. Let us be gone. Kurt's death might have been enough to make these congers retreat. But they'll come back, that's for sure. We better be prepared for a fight. Stay behind us, Constantine. You're in no condition to fight. We must hurry, before the guard can act. Out 
Lord Minister. Oh, friendly faces, finally. What a relief. I was in this room when I heard sounds of battle. Fearing for my life, I hid myself in here. But what is going on? What madness has befallen the palace? It is a coup d'etat. The coin guard wants to take control of the island by assassinating all its governors. The guard is everywhere. They could succeed. We will do everything in our power to thwart them. Come now. We'll take you somewhere safe. I'll follow you. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! We've reached the cellar. It looks like a good place to hide. Constantine, promise me that you will stay here until we secure the city. Do I even have a choice? Here I am, consigned to my quarters like some broken old maid. <laughs> like someone ill, Constantine. Someone who is dear to me. And the city wouldn't survive your loss. You have such a way with words. Very well. I promise to stay here obediently awaiting your return. Let's go then. And cousin, watch out for yourself. You are dear to me as well. You are safe here. Oh, you have my eternal gratitude, Excellency. We owe you our lives.
bit of Let's go! I am but a man of ink and quill. Poison on my blade. Now let's go! Lord de Corsillon. De Sade, you've come at a serendipitous moment. I thought my hour had come. What's happening? A coup d'etat, Professor. The coin guard tried to assassinate my cousin, and is plotting the same actions against the other governors. So, they have finally done it. Such proximity to power is a terrible temptation. It was only a question of time before they succumbed. We should have paid more attention to your lessons. We might have been able to avoid all this. Follow me. I'm taking you somewhere safe. I'm coming. You will be safe here. Thank you, my friend. I will never forget what you've done for me. In that case, we should find her at once. Her abode is very close to the palace.
Lady Morange, make ready to depart. We cannot remain here. But what is going on? The coin guard has decided to take control of the isle. They plan to overthrow the governors. They were set on assassinating Constantine and his entire entourage. The idiots! You are in danger. Do you know a safe place we could take you? Don't worry about me. I have friends here. They will hide me. Go! And do be careful. If I remember correctly, Torsten's quarters are in the right wing. Going in through the front door would be dangerous, and the noise of the battle could make him run away. You're not wrong. If we're to stop him, we had better be discreet. I believe that there's a passage leading to the barracks in the tavern. We could use it to our advantage. We could also climb up the left wing's scaffolding. We'd reach the upper floor directly. But it's <laughs> What are you doing here? Who let you in? I demand an explanation. It seems that your men are a little distracted this evening, Lieutenant. It is understandable, with all that's been going on. You are under arrest as well as your commander. But... What is this? Soldiers! Ready weapons! There's poison on my blade! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> No one. I hope hoped he'd be here. Look, he's left all his mess behind. If we're lucky, we may find some information in his papers. The traitor had a contingency plan. He must be boarding a ship to another city as we speak. The Admiral certainly can't be aware of his plotting. She would never support him. I thought as much. She would have too much to lose. According to these papers, Torsten was counting on some other officers to lead the attack. We must stop them, too. We better act fast, then. One of our ships is suddenly waiting for them at the dock, ready to set sail. To think that if I had had my ship, I could have blocked the way out or chased them. Let's not waste any time. We'll try to catch them at the port. I'm glad I was not in Kurt's place. He became a traitor unwittingly. I should probably have taken more heed of him. He was my master and my friend. And I did not listen. What a waste.
sorry, Your Excellency. I know you've paid your entry fee, but this is a special night. My orders are not to let anyone in. What if I paid you a supplement for your good services? Very well, you can come in. I hope I won't be in trouble. I regret, my lady, we are closed this evening. Come back another day. I'm not here to tempt my luck. Are you in charge? That's right, what do you want from me? From you? Nothing. We are here to arrest the commander's lieutenants. Is that right? Now, this ought to be good. And for what crime would that be? You know very well. For high treason. Oh, and you think that my men are just gonna let you without so much as blinking an eye? Why would your men risk their lives and their families' well-being to serve your greedy ambitions? Gentlemen, you have been manipulated. I imagine you were promised riches and high station on the island. Told that with such a prize, you would be free of the services of the merchants, the majors, and the scholars. But do you imagine for an instant that the noughts would risk losing their precious clients for you? That the continental nations that you've betrayed would accept that you might return to their lands? You would be condemned to remain on this island. Isolated and forever banished from the continent. I only hope that you are leaving no one behind you. Because you will never see them again. You make sense. We have too much to lose in this story. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but you're gonna have to deal with this yourself. Do with him what you feel you must. Bit of poison on my... Soldiers! Ready weapons! We are under attack! We have been sent by the Governor Constantin Dorsey. Your lieutenant is accused of high treason for having participated in an attempted coup d'etat. As you can see for yourselves, the attempt failed. Are you also ready to be accused of treason? Because of your loyalty to your lieutenant? You give your word that we'll suffer no repercussions if we lay down arms. You have my word. Very well. We are dropping our weapons, soldiers. That dog's hide doesn't deserve our sacrifice. Found
woman that fits you like a glove. Oh, it's a great pleasure. To... The best forge in tier for a day. Lights, armor, locks, custom pieces, right to order. Come closer, good people. The cure and boy. You'll find all. The coward has escaped. It is not over. We need to warn our allies. Let them fend for themselves. Would they have come to save you if the situation had been reversed? One thing is certain, we cannot save them both. You will need to make a choice between the two. We cannot take the risk of losing a potential remedy. We shall go to Hikmet. Halt! No one may enter. I regret that I must insist. You asked for it. There's poison on my bed. Let's go! Let's see if we can
attendant should have at least had the courage to release me himself. I am sorry, Your Excellency. The palace is closed until further notice. If they... What is going on here? I am the governor's chambermaid. Or was. They just told me that they are no longer in need of my services. And it's not just me. No, they sent everyone packing. I have no idea what is going on here. But I don't intend to stand by and let it happen. I see. Listen. The guard put you out because they are preparing to assassinate the governor. What? But how could you possibly think such a thing? These guards are rough and crude, but to think... They are attempting a coup d'etat. We must absolutely find a way into the palace in order to stop them. So now, can you help us? Well, there is a servant's entrance, but it's closed for the time being. But you have a key, don't you? Of course I do. But I can't give it to you. I don't even know who you are. I am the legate of the Congregation of Merchants on this island. Our city suffered the same type of attack. I came as fast as I could to give what assistance I am able to our dear ally. We are in need of your help. To save the life of Governor Burren and put an end to this attack. I... I see. Here. Take my key and go save our governor. If he were lost, our city would never recover. Thank you. You need to go and find a place to hide now. We're inside. If I were in your position, I would have let the leader of the lions die. They have hurt us so deeply. Now is not the time. Bit of poison on my blade. Let's go! Your men have died in vain. You have no other solutions. Governor, give yourself up. Governor? Given the amount of respect I've been accorded, I doubt that I still merit the title in your eyes. Kill him! A bit of poison on my blade. Then no. let's go! We're inside. If I were in your position, I would have let the leader of the lions die. They have hurt us so deeply. Your men have died in vain. Governor! A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Thank you infinitely for your help. Come closer. We need to speak with each other. You made it in time to save me. But I am afraid that the palace is still infested with traitors. For as long as they are there, our position remains uncertain. Please, make sure they can do no harm. And if you are able, secure our laboratory. Our research is valuable and at a critical stage. They will only think to destroy it without realizing how important the research is. I will do my best. 
Stay behind closed doors until the palace has been made safe. the last. The palace is liberated. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade, and to what do I owe this honor? Could you... Could we be here? In every... Can you... Your question... I am... Yet, perhaps it is... Become... In any case... An of course, course, they ran to be... I... Farewell. Another entrance. If you want to have the element of surprise, a bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go!
Too late. These brutes have destroyed everything. All the better. Maybe now they will leave our island. You may recover possession of your palace, Governor. The coin guard is vanquished. I thank you infinitely, Excellency. You have paid us an immense service. I just learned that the traitors in the city have also been killed, vanquished by their own brothers in arms. The ones who refused to be a part of this abject infamy and remained loyal. And I was also told that the coin guard took San Mateus. The mother cardinal managed to escape. I shall not cry over the plight of Telemi, but I regret that treacherous commander partially succeeded in his coup. In the end, thanks to you, we are safe and of sound body. I shall not forget the services you have rendered, Excellency. Would you please convey to your cousin the sincerest thanks of his most devout ally? I shall not forget, Excellency. Goodbye.
De Sarde, I could you? All right, Vasco. Good day, my lady. Happy to see We would like to have some information regarding an important family, the Darcys. Well, I could tell you many things about them, but I suppose that you want to know something in particular? Are there any members of this family on the island? Indeed. Bastian Darcy, the son of the family, has been in New Serene for some time. Last I heard about it, he was doing business, but that doesn't help in knowing where he is. The Darcys' first attempt at establishing themselves on this island wasn't very fruitful. But I seem to recall that since then, the son has found a competent associate who's been working here for a long time. Perfect. Could you tell us where to find her? Of course. Ask for a Madame Clerk near the warehouses on the port. That's where she normally is. I hope the Darcys are not in trouble. Do not worry, madam. Their name was simply mentioned in some business discussions. We are thinking about becoming associates. We would like to know more about them to form an opinion. If you ask me, you should forget this idea, Your Excellency. Their son is a poor business partner. Why do you say that? I do not mean to speak ill of him. Perhaps it would be better for you to form your own opinion. Well, thank you for your help, madam. Can I help you with any other matter? My lady, I have to go. you are you here to do business are you madam clerk we would like to meet with your associate mr darcy bastian i don't know where he is i can't say that he often graces us with his presence you don't have the slightest idea where he is i am not his caretaker you know you don't seem to hold him in high regard listen my relationship with my associate is no one else's concern and if you didn't come to do business well We must find him. This man you can see by my side is his brother. 
Do not insult my intelligence. I know that the Darcy's only have one son, alas. You can see the Nort's tattoos on his face, can't you? And a merchant like you must surely know about the Nort's recruiting process. So it is true. The Darcy's gave away one of their children. I find it hard to believe. He was supposed to go to Hikmet to deal with one of our clients, but I didn't receive any news from him after his departure. And given his tendency to get himself into impossible situations, I didn't try to get any. Who is this client? His name is Ferrat. You'll find him in the Alchemist District. Uh, I'll write this down. You think something may have happened to him there? His mission wasn't very complicated. He had to pay for a valuable shipment and take charge of it. But with Bastion, anything is possible. Thank you, madam. Ah! Ah! Bit of poison on my... Ah! 